Coating chile rellenos in egg can be difficult for a lot of people, but today we're using a layer of well-seasoned, light and crispy chicken instead of egg. It's gonna be much easier while still allowing us to savor all of those traditional flavors. We're gonna need five large poblano peppers and I'm roasting them over medium heat on a comal. By the way, poblanos are Mexico's top peppers for Stuffing, I'm not saying it's the only one, but it's definitely our go-to. While we enjoy the sound of the occasional popping and also all of those aromas, let's go ahead and get some prep done. Just allow them to blister and blacken on all sides. Keep an eye out, flip them as needed, and we'll get back to them soon. For now, we need to roughly dice half of a white onion, smash and peel four large garlic cloves. This is gonna take care of releasing that peel. Onion and garlic can go together. Just a wonderful combo. Roughly dice a pound of nice, meaty, ripe tomatoes. And the ones that were best looking at the store were the vine ripe. You can also use Roma tomatoes. Remove that stem area and roughly dice them as well. Mm, the knife is looking good. Thank you, Nelson. I was about to say, I love it. The knives are nice and sharp. Now transfer them into a bowl. Let's check on those poblanos. You may have to stand a few on their sides to target the side area. It can be tricky, but totally doable. As they're ready, you wanna remove them and place them in a bowl and just cover them with plastic wrap so they start to sweat and the skin begins to release. What's gonna happen if they stay here for too long is that they're gonna to start to become really soft and it's gonna get harder to handle. In a large pan and over medium heat, heat a couple of tablespoons of a good oil. I'm using avocado as always. For our special ingredients, we're gonna pan fry one corn tortilla. And this, my friend, is gonna bring so much goodness. Not only is it gonna add body, but also it's wonderful corn flavors. This is nice and crispy, golden brown on both sides. Let's remove it. I did turn off the heat. I don't want that pan to overheat as well. In goes the onion and garlic. And I'm gonna turn this to medium low. Add a little more oil if needed. Onions have slightly softened. Add in half a teaspoon of Mexican dry oregano. And we're gonna toast this for, I'd say a minute. Okay, tomatoes go in. I am gonna increase the heat to medium so we can Start to release all of those juices and let them soften completely. The peppers look great. If you cannot get to them right away, just uncover them. That way they don't continue to cook in the steam. Tomatoes are nice and soft, mushy. They're done. Back to the peppers, peel that skin off, and this should be fairly easy. These are ready, and what I'm gonna do right now is make a cut, starting at the center, going upwards. We're making like a little window for the cheese to go in. Cut out the seeds from the inside without cutting the stem, and try not to make that opening bigger. If you get the occasional pepper that might just happen to open completely, that is fine. You're probably just gonna have to be more gentle with it, plus that chicken is gonna hold it together. And use a small spoon to scoop all of those seeds out. These peppers are gonna be stuffed with cheese and I'm using queso asadero, which is semi-soft, kind of resembles the flavor of, I'd say like a light white cheddar. Other choices are queso fresco, you can also do panela, Oaxaca cheese. The options are endless. It is 12 ounces and I did cut them into short strips. Insert them into the peppers. And let's not be stingy here. We need to make sure they are completely filled. We are ready to wrap the beautiful peppers, so let's talk about the chicken. I am using about one and a half pounds of chicken breast, which equals to about two pieces. Now, I'm using scraps and everything, but if you want whole pieces for the entire five peppers, I'd say go up to three chicken breasts. All I did was cut them in half, then butterfly them, because we wanna get really thin slices. Cut out any scraps and keep them on the side because we are using them. 
When you're done, take each piece, place a plastic wrap right over them, then pound it with a meat mallet in order to tenderize it. And I am using the smooth side, which is less aggressive. And you can do this ahead of time, that way it's less hassle. Take each piece, place the pepper over it, and wrap it up. Nothing fancy here. Set it aside, take another piece, and do this with the rest of the peppers. That's a giant version of jalapeno poppers. For sure, yes, except not, it doesn't have any bacon. Now take all of those scraps, and we're just gonna have to get creative with this, okay? Kind of mimic the shape of the breast. Just kind of hug it. <laughs> do the best that you can. And I think this pepper is the one that got the most chicken. <laughs> Back to the sauce. Let's take all of that tomato mixture that we cooked and add it into a blender. Also add in that crispy corn tortilla. I just like to break it apart before I add it in. Do one tablespoon of white distilled vinegar. Two chipotles in adobo if you want it spicier, you can add more. And that's gonna be with two tablespoons of that adobo sauce. Also one cup plus a quarter of a cup of chicken stock, and this is low sodium. Finally, to add that dose of creaminess, one cup of Mexican crema. Depending on the brand that you get, it might be saltier than others. So definitely the salt has to be to taste when making this dish. Cover and blend until it is completely smooth. Place a large deep pan over medium high heat and add a generous amount of oil. While that's heating up, let's sprinkle these peppers with salt and black pepper. Sear and brown both sides of the chicken and start with that seam side. The chicken is not fully cooked yet, but it's fine because it's gonna finish cooking later on with the sauce. And I'm just gonna turn the heat to medium low and pour in the sauce. While I was removing all of the chile rellenos, I removed the pot from the heat because I didn't want a big splatter. I guess it didn't get much of a splatter. <laughs> no splatter. Oh well, we're just gonna let this reach a gentle simmer. This looks great. I am gonna lower that heat once again, cover it, and let it cook for about five minutes. All right, this is looking so good. We just wanted to allow those flavors to cook before we add our chile rellenos. Stir everything again. At this point is when you wanna season it with salt and just do it to taste. Perfect, now all of those chile rellenos go in. I'm gonna cover them with that sauce, that way that chicken gets fully cooked. Cover them and allow them to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes or until that chicken is fully cooked and the cheese has softened in the inside. This should be ready to serve. Oh yes, this is what I'm talking about. We're just gonna stir in the sauce a little bit Coat those chiles once again. Serve it with a nice portion of frijoles de la olla, or you could even refry them. Mexican white rice, and top it with fresh pico de gallo. Ooh, this is so good and looks gorgeous. I am ready to eat, but first I wanna let you know that all of the links to the recipes that we just mentioned are gonna be down in the description area. That includes frijoles de la olla, white Mexican rice, even pico de gallo. I have a video tutorial on it, and it's very popular. So I know, know you're gonna love it. You know I'm ready. And you, so know, I, and you know I love, I love poblano peppers. And rice. <laughs> poblano peppers, my name. Mm. Mm. Wow. The magic chilos rellenos is there. Mm. Wow. Where let do me, I start? Let me tell you that pico de gallo, you have to do it. You cannot skip mm -hmm. it. Waiting for chiles rellenos is so hard for me. 
And look. Look at this beauty. So good. This is my perfect meal. The chicken goes so well with it. I know. I know. We're going to finish this meal. I really hope you try it at home. And uh, until the next one. Bye, everyone. Keep cooking, everybody. Yes. Pass me a small piece of tortilla. <laughs> Oh, can you believe this guy? No. <laughs>